What up? What up? What up? Thank you guys for joining in today. Back with another Lupac Sunday volume cook up review. This is volume 25. The link is in the description in case you did not receive it. Last week, the homeboys dropped uh, volume 25. They also, uh, the Spicy Sundays podcast is now available on Spotify. And I believe it's going to be on more digital platforms. Don't quote me, but it is on Spotify. So if you went to the Spicy Sunday Spice, check out the um the Spotify. You could catch up on all the old ones. Um, I'm going to see if I could get a link and throw it in the description for you guys, for those of you that are interested. But the link to Lupac Sunday Volume 25 is in the description. So go ahead and grab it if you didn't get it already. All right, so let's get to it. First five we know come from CMP alphabetical order. Let go. kind of dope. It's long though. CMP giving us full compositions out here. Those five came from CMP. Some dope joints look like he gave us full fledged compositions, meaning that the loops are over a minute long. You know what I mean? Some of them are regular standard eight bar loops. Some of them are four bar loops, but some of them are like 24, 32 bar loops. Um, so that gives you more play for you to really dig in and create something special. All right. So now the next five come from MGTF. Let go. Ellis Island. Those five came from MGTF. Man, fire this week. We got some full compositions. We got some some, some fiery stuff, man. I don't know. Y'all already know. When I get to this point, I'm like, where I should go. But I think I already know where I'm going. Hold on. 
right, so I, I heard something from CMP. I think I'm going to run with that. It's called Rev Run. something from MG it's called moon sub think I'm gonna run with that do something different that I haven't really done at least on camera I haven't done it So I got that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna group these. Um, I should bounce it. Matter of fact, is that Command B? this all right sound pretty good if you'd agree hold up I think I'm gonna look for some drums it's gonna take me some a little bit of time so I'm gonna pause the recording real quick and bring in the NPC all right so I got these drums And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gonna add a track. All right. I'm going to take the record off of this, put the record on this. Play around for it real quick, then I'm gonna record some. Hold on. it directly into the MPC this go around but I'm still gonna extend the bar so it 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 follows the uh studio one and uh I should record it inside of the MPC therefore if I do make a mistake I could just drag it in but I'm not gonna do that so punch in Put the metronome on. All right, so I'm going to call the kid at it. Record first, though.
I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to get the 808 uh, to sit right with the kick. Now it's a mixing thing. What I noticed with uh, Studio One since this update, this uh, this input control, no matter how much I save it, every time I open it up, I have to re-add it. Um, I think they need to fix that somehow. All right, so what do we have? We got the drums set up on one band. We have. The band bus um or drum bus we got the samples on its own we got the sub lab on its own just got to get everything level so hold up Tisk, tisk, tisk. So what I'm doing right now is I'm paying attention to the, the main output, seeing what it's, it's peaking at. And I'm pulling it down to the level that I wanted at. The hi hats is kind of good.
my OCD just kicked in. I gotta, uh, I gotta fix this. I wish the ghost notes would let you see the uh the wave. But what it does is give you a point of reference. Right? I don't want you to follow, man. One, four. Do a kick? No, kick doesn't hit here. So what hits right here? Can't be the hi-hat that sound like that. The kick hits here. This goes here. So my OCD kicked in heavy, and I had to fix the the pattern of the eight oh eight. It's not the best, but we gonna bang with it nonetheless. Alright, so what I didn't, uh, I didn't add any effects, channels, buses, but I think I'm just going to add it. Um, I don't know. I'll deal with that after. So I think I have enough drums to, uh, to drop out if I wanted to. It's not doing what I wanted to.
And like that, you got a joint. You know what I mean? Some more mixing. Add some, some percussive sounds and all that. Get it done. But, you know, timing is everything. And it seemed to be the key. Key of life, key of everything. So, that much said, I think y'all got the picture. I think y'all got the point. You can make dope stuff happen with these loop pack Sunday. Uh, these loop pack Sunday loop kits, <laughs> sample kits, sample packs, right? We can make dope things happen with a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, a little bit of know how. You make some dope things, man. I hope you guys are making some dope bangers with these. I'll be hearing some of y'all joints across Twitter. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Blue Pack Sunday Volume 25. The link is in the description. If you do not have it, go out and grab it and share it with the world. You heard? Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace. Love, light. Till next time. Peace. Hold up. Before I close out, I just got to I got to beef it up a little bit cuz I didn't mix it. So I want it to sound right. Right? Hold up. Hold on. I think it sound a little bit better, but I added some stuff that CPU intensive. So it might start lagging if it do that, then I'm just closing up. All right? Thank y'all again for sticking it through. Do remember, music is life. Keep banging. Peace. Love, light. Till next time. Peace. Alright y'all, peace.